you know, when I started my company in my event, 21 convention, it was a 2006, 2007, the world was a different place. The culture was a different place. The yeah. hostility against men and young men was way less than it is now. And it still existed. And so it didn't just pop out and it didn't just spring up out of the ether out of nowhere, right. but it's, it's, it's not just gradually, but it's exponentially increased. And we see that now with Will Smith and the Johnny Depp stuff and me too crap, me poo, hashtag me poo. <laughs> uh, uh, the whole, you know, the recently the disinformation board that got dissolved, but that was a thing for a couple weeks there, whatever they're trying to build. A lot of that was actually going to be targeted at misogyny, you know, mis misogynistic ideals on the Internet. Oh, yeah. And one, they've been talking about that even since day one in the uh, alleged Biden administration. Like they want to target. That's one of the main components to shut down misogyny. It's like, holy shit, these people, you can't they want to officially use the government to neuter and castrate any kind of criticism of women at all and just reframe all of it as abusive misogyny and hatred it's like this is fucking crazy they Most want that, that that administration local. wants ownership of all criticism they want ownership oh, yeah. of all criticism they want to be the ultimate yeah. authority on who may be criticized and receive zero criticism themselves they're megalomaniac psychopath scumbags what a demonic entity yes. that fucking administration is awful hashtag mental health hashtag mental hashtag health mental, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the richard i love this is the richard we need yeah man. yeah no i i, yeah, I agree completely i mean yeah. it, you know you can't i i feel like it's when people like actually talk about it like it's biden or like i feel like i'm talking to children you know like i mean obviously yeah. there's people behind that yeah. Who are the the people who are? I mean, that's just people the behind weird that little, senile this weird little confused puppet that they make run around and like do stuff, uh, or uh, you the, know, the robot or whatever the hell he is. The, but like the teleprompter people, teleprompter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, whoever's running the, the yeah the teleprompter people. Uh, <laughs> that that could be the name for the conspiracy like theory around them, the reptilian mm -hmm. teleprompter mm -hmm. you know people. But uh, yeah, I mean, whoever's obviously in charge of all that, um, the group of people or whatever the network of people, um, you know. And, you know, just obviously probably just people who have vested interest, really, in yeah. uh, things being exactly as they are. And they're like, we're on the good side of things. So we yeah, let's keep making money. Um, and uh, yeah. yeah, it's 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 very it's very bad. If you like what they're doing, it's it's obviously complete control um, is yeah, over everything. And, it, and it's just weird the way like like I always wonder about like reporters. Like, I think it's elderly, you, elderly, elderly abuse too. Like Joe's an old man. Like this oh, is for this sure. Seen old man. This is abusing the elderly. Yeah, like, yeah. I think I've I think I've posted about that a couple of times. Like, yeah. uh, like, like. Uh, remember that time when we all participated in an elder abuse for four years? Yeah. Uh, you know, because <laughs> yeah, it's it, I mean, whatever bad shit that he's. I mean, he's definitely a a, a bad dude. Yeah. Uh, but uh, now he's just like a tottering idiot. You know, like bad dude, and yeah. uh, it's it's mean. Uh, what they're doing to him, I'd still, I'd still happily watch him, like say, prosecuted. Uh, but uh, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> I almost said something spicy, and then I was like, oh, like prosecuted. Uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, but but yeah, I mean, it's a bad situation, and and uh, I, I was saying that reporters and stuff. I'm like, like at some point when you went to school to become a reporter, you still thought that you were, you know, getting the scoop. You know, like you're getting the scoop, like you're getting uh, you're getting one on the man. You're like uh, un unveiling the secret, and now it's like all these people, like they just totally let go of that. They because oh, they, they know that they're not doing that. No, they, they know, know that they're yeah. literally writing propaganda. It like here's what you will write, and here's what you're doing it, and there's no reporting. It's all puff pieces. It's all like here's what you, like here's the narrative. It doesn't matter what you do or like whether it's true or not. You're just gonna write that. And that's why I always say they're like worse than actual prostitutes. Instead of putting dirty dicks in their mouth, they put other you know, strangers' words in their mouths, and it's, it's worse. Well, they call them uh, pre prostitutes. I think is the name prostitutes. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, clever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's good. They're putting one of Satan's multiple dongs in their throat. <laughs> they really are absolutely disgraceful swallowers of the black wormsism of the devil. Um, you, you, you said before, Anthony, that. Um, that, that there's a there's a hostility towards men. I think uh, towards masculinity, as I think is what you said. I think now that's escalated to a morbid, hysterical terror. So if there is any sign of authentic, um, uh, unbothered, unattached expressions of masculinity found, with the few places you can find them because they're rare, the response is visceral and it's hysterical. Like yeah. this person must be stopped from what? 
from the doing the the man, the male, the, he's happy. Look, he's happily independent. Oh my God. And I, and I look at this and I'm like, this is what we were told drove like the Inquisition and the witch burnings was a terror of yeah. femininity, of female sexuality, of female beauty. This terror, this tyrannical, I must crush and destroy this force. It feels exactly the same. And it has that same knee jerk religious fervor where yes. people will go, all the way to the end they're not just going to attack masculinity and then go oh that yeah that's enough now they want it gone off the face of the earth because they really in their delusion believe it's like an existential threat yes i'm like you only exist because you were a sperm you fucking yeah. nitwit because of heterosexual union between a man and a woman that's the only reason you exist but no, nope, we want rid of it. So I, I, I've come to the conclusion. I'm pretty pessimistic these days. This is a, this is a, the, essentially like a suicide cult against humanity. They have suicidal ideation against humanity. They're so full of self-loathing. They've come to the conclusion that the world would just be better off without us.